back. Well, hair loss in men is more socially acceptable than hair loss in women. Yet for women, the problem is a lot more complex. Yeah, hair loss affects more than 30 million women in the United States, and most of them have no idea where to turn. So joining us now to talk about a special seminar that's happening tonight is Rhonda McCarthy and John, John Loudoff with Transitions of Wisconsin. Welcome yeah. both of you to Thank the you. show. Thank here. you so much. Thank you for having us. I uh, ran into a woman, um, I want to say a year or two ago, who experienced hair loss. And she she said to us many times, you really need to do some kind of feature on, on hair loss because it's so devastating mm -hmm. for women. In your experience, what is it? How does it affect a woman's self esteem and how she sees herself when she experiences hair loss? Whether it's a young girl or someone like a beauty queen like Kayla Martell, it can completely <clears throat> devastate a woman. I, I've been working specific, specifically with women for about the last ten years. And um, I've seen women, I've met women, women who have planned suicides um, due to their hair loss, mm -hmm. as well as women like Kayla who have grown up with this and so they're completely comfortable whether they're bald or whether, or, or, or whether she's wearing her hair or and using her hair. Her problem is alopecia, right? Yes. And she started losing hair, clumps of hair at, at Age 11. 11. Yes. Age 11, she started losing her hair. Um, she always knew from the time she was a little girl that she wanted to be a beauty queen. And that was her goal, and she used to go to beauty contests with her mom, and that's what she wanted to do. And uh, she competed many times without her hair, which was extremely brave and unheard of at the time. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and as she tells her story, one day one of the judges came to her and said, do you want to win? And she said, yeah. And he said, you need to do something about your hair. Mm. And so she went out and um, she did something. She found her solution and she was very fortunate. There's not enough, and that's the problem, there's not enough information out there for women. Mm -hmm. And they don't know where to go. And, and it's, um, there's plenty of really professional, credible places where they can go that have the solutions, like Transitions of Wisconsin. Um, but women just don't know that they exist. Mm -hmm. And so Kayla found her solution. She competed. She won 2010 Miss Delaware and then went on to be a finalist in the Miss America contest. And now her goal is to, for the next few years, to go around the country. Um, she's working with me to find the, the local, in each market, the most credible, the most reputable business so, so we can take that part out of the women's hands and find that location for them and then educate the women on hair loss and, and provide them with a location that they can trust. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously the social stigma against women losing their hair versus men is a big issue. Are there more complex issues internally or is it the same issues that cause hair loss with women as with men? It can be a mixture of both. Uh, chemical imbalances do play a huge factor. Medications that women do take will play a factor in it. It can be hereditary as well. So there's and a number of different things. Aging, too, right? Aging, mm -hmm. um, pre or post menopausal plays factors in it. Even childbirth plays mm -hmm. a huge factor in it. And one of the things that we've come to understand is you don't have to be a beauty queen to have more hair. Your hair for a woman is her crown, mm -hmm. regardless if they're a beauty queen or, or not. We just want to give them that crown back. I think it's wonderful that you recognize that because a lot of people say, oh, it's, it's hair. You know, it's easy for someone with great yeah. hair to be like, yeah. oh, so you don't have your hair. Mm -hmm. Wear a wig or something like that. But you, at, at some point, you take that wig off and, and you see yourself mm -hmm. without hair. And, and so I get that. And as we look at some of these pictures, um, it's clear um, in meeting you Beautiful. that it doesn't just affect older women or postmenopausal women, although they suffer too. It affects young girls, mm -hmm. um, young women. Mm -hmm. um, what kinds of, I, I know you do confidential one-on-one -on -one meetings with women, which I yes. think is great. What kinds of solutions can you offer them? Well, one of the benefits of Transitions uh, of Wisconsin or Transitions International altogether, we offer all the different options from non-surgical treatments uh, to help patients in the earlier stages of loss. Being more proactive is very important. We can accomplish a lot more if you're more proactive. However, for patients who haven't been, there's non-surgical options, there's surgical options, and there's full cranial prosthetics for patients that are going through chemotherapy, radiation. That's one of the benefits of our clinic. We offer all the options available to benefit 
everyone in every situation. In one location. I can exactly. imagine just yeah. having that conversation and knowing what your options are, whether it's based on your finances or your situation or your health, whatever it is, just knowing what those options are can be a huge relief for a woman who is having self-confidence issues with loss of hair or has lost all of her hair. Mm -hmm. You're doing these free seminars mm -hmm. and, and what exactly are they? Because, you know, so many people are, it's just that first step. It's finding the right place, as you said. Yep. Um, so fine, <clears throat> now we've got the right place. We know where they should go. What will they be able to do at the seminar? What will they be able to understand about hair loss? Well, the great thing about the seminar and the way it kind of came into, into play was um, we, had, Kayla and I attended a, 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 hair, oh my, a hair replacement industry conference mm -hmm. about two years ago. And at this conference, we were, we were lucky enough to witness a focus group. And, and it was a room full of women who were losing their hair. They were at all varying ages, degrees of hair loss, different issues. Some of them had their hair loss due to cancer and, and were going to grow their hair back. And others, you know, had, had thinning hair. It was just all varying degrees. And so while there were a lot of different emotions there, the one thing that was constant in 100% of the women was that they didn't know where to go. Mm -hmm. and they didn't know what to do. And so at that moment, Kayla and I met for coffee afterwards and, and Kayla said, Rhonda, we have to figure this out. I mean, that's, that's what I wanna focus on. I wanna focus on going and, and finding that place and making sure that these women are well taken care of, that it's a location that has all the reputable solutions and that they're going to treat them confidentially with respect and um, understand their emotions and um, and, and provide them with an individualized solution. Sometimes it's not one solution. Sometimes it's a couple different things that work for them. That's what I think is so wonderful is that yeah. it's a custom plan for each yeah. person yes. depending on their needs, their age, you got it. Their, their background, the, the reason why they've lost hair. So I think it's wonderful you're doing this free seminar and I know Kayla will be there. Yes. If people can't go tonight, they can see her tomorrow um, mm -hmm. during office hours at your location. So starting with the uh, free seminar tonight, it's women's hair loss. It's tonight from 6.30 to 8.30. The address is on your screen. It's 2900 North 117th Street in Milwaukee. For more information, call 414-563-2001 or go to wantmorehair.com to get more information. That is tonight again from 6.30 to 8.30. If you can't make it tonight, you can meet Kayla at your offices tomorrow. Um, and people can also call for a free consultation and come in at, mm -hmm. at a time of their choosing, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Wonderful to have you both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.